Hallelujah. 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 Glory to our most high God. We bless you, Jesus. Magnify and glorify you. There's no God like Jehovah. You're holy. You're righteous. You're king. You're glorious. High and lifted up. Shekara Bahasi. Just take a moment to say thank you. We take a moment to bless you. To magnify you. To glorify you. Good afternoon, my God. Glory be unto your name. Glory be unto your name. I'm trying to catch my breath. My alarm keeps getting triggered and I've been running over all over this house to have them just set reset it. Yet nevertheless, here we are. Hallelujah. Nothing stops the joy of the Lord. Nothing stops the things of God. God bless you, Minister Maddie. Nothing stops. Nothing stops. So, Shandara Hasi. If he redeems time, nothing can stop the things of God in our life, in this hour, in this season. We just take a moment to say thank you. Thank you to the true and the living God. God bless you, own of God. Thank you to the King, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God. Thank you to the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Thank you to the our great Jehovah. Thank you to the King of Kings, the King King of kings, there isn't a kingdom greater or a kingship more powerful. Thank you to the great I am. I am that I am. I am that sent Moses Mandarahasi to deliver his people from, from Pharaoh. I am the resurrection and the life. Thank you. Mandarahasi to I am the way, the truth, and the life. Thank you. Ha, ah, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Take a moment and thank him. Take a moment and thank him. Oh, no matter what, take a moment and thank him. Don't allow the circumstance, the atmosphere, the situation to block that river of thanksgiving. Out of our belly shall flow living water. Thanksgiving is living water. Thanksgiving is living water. Let hell be confounded at the depth of gratitude and thanksgiving from the mouth of the saints. Yes, we're going to pray. There is a prayer assignment, but we never come before the king without reverence in him. If there was not a Jehovah, a Savior, a Redeemer, there would not be no power in us to pray. If he, the chief intercessor, the one seated at the right hand of God the Father, isn't making intercession for us, wasn't making intercession for us, we would not have the grace, the desire, or the will to pray for men everywhere, for all men. I am the bread of life. Thank you to the I am, the good shepherd. Thank you to the I am, the vine, the vine, and we are his branches. So we bear fruit. In prayer, we bear fruit. In air, even in praise, we bear fruit. In worship, we bear fruit. In discipling, we bear fruit. In preaching, in prophesying, whatsoever we do. Because of our divine connection to the vine. I am the vine. We bear fruit. My God, my God, my God. If the enemy thought I was going to be upset, he surely missed that mark. Oh my God, my God, my God. Excited about the word on this afternoon that God has been speaking for the last couple of days concerning Jezebel. Come on, come on, come on. Press in just a little while. There is going to, there has to be, there has to be a tremendous release for all the distraction and noise that has been triggered all throughout the day. People around me who don't even usually get upset are getting worked up and I have to calm them down and minister to them and return them to 
to that place of power. The place of power is the unmovable place. Nothing shakes you. Nothing rattles you. Because you understand that you belong to a kingdom that is unshaken. Ah, God, 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 God. Reboho shatamandoroho siki andaba. Day 10. Day 10. We're halfway through it. Of the 21 day prayer assignment. My God. The woman of God said hostility today. But God. Day 10. And we're going to pray. Expose and pray. How Jezebel seduces people to suicide. How Jezebel seduces people to suicide. And we can act like suicide has not been a problem. An issue in the church. But. With all the leaders, all the pastors who have committed suicide. With the number, the alarming number of adolescents, children, in the last two years who have committed suicide. With all the men, there has been an alarming rise uptick also in the lives of men. I've been privy to ministering. We're, we live in, in a military town, they call it, here in Texas. And I've been privy to ministering to veterans and men who have seen some atrocious things in war. And they have their own struggles with the spirit of suicide. But we have to understand that the root of that is Jezebel. How does Jezebel seduce people to suicide? If we even go back, to the womb. The enemy is after life. He's not just after life as far as you existing, but Jezebel understands that if we would ever line up with God's destiny for us, we would be the very ones exposing the wicked agendas. Elijah, Kondarabahasi. The wicked agendas, this entrapment and demonic maneuverings of this enemy to cause somebody to become so downtrodden, so overwhelmed, so tormented. Have mercy, Lord. Kianda Mahasi, that you will be the very instrument the enemy uses to end your life. That is deep on so many levels. And I know this spirit personally. I know this warfare personally. So I do tend to take it personal. When you get prayer requests for five-year-old babies. Five-year-old babies. Who are suicidal. Eight-year-old. And even some of the homicidal tendencies we see. It's rooted in the rage. So not only is Jezebel triggering suicide. It's triggering homicide. But we're here with the sword of the Spirit of God. There's no weapon. There's no weapon. There's no agenda. There's no demonic mandate that we cannot bring down. Psalm 118 and 17. Going to read that one verse and we're going to pray. And Father, as we go to your word, give us clarity of understanding. Cause us to be able to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying for this day, for this hour. So we are, O oh God, carriers of life. See that when we speak, life will consume suicide. That when we pray, God, life will consume those with a mandate and a mindset to die. We believe now. We receive everything that you have for us. Pour out. Pour out, pour out, in the name of Jesus. Psalm 118 and 17. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. I shall not die. No child shall die in our watch, but they shall live and declare the works of the Lord. The purpose for life, the, the destined and ordained blueprint of their life. Shall be fulfilled, shall be lived out, shall be known and shall be pursued after. I shall not die but live. So Father, even now, every lie, we're going straight into prayer. 
every lie, all deception, all falsehood. We even have teenagers, children, girlfriends, Korodabahasi, literally bewitching, controlling, manipulating God, their boyfriends, their peers, their classmates to commit suicide. But Father, in the name of Jesus, we come with the banner of your word. We come with the weapon of your word. We come annihilating. Oh God, we come demolishing. We come dethroning and destroying every agenda of the spirit of Jezebel to bring death, to cause suicide, oh God, to cause your people to be so, oh God, despondent, so discouraged, so troubled, and so tormented that they believe the lie that suicide is the only way out. You cannot escape eternal damnation. Escaping the temporary affliction is not going to help it. But Father, we pray now in the name of Jesus that the hearts of you people are open to your truth. The babies in elementary school, the babies in middle school, in high school, in college, those on the battlefield right now. God, we have a U.S. Nebo Shatara Baha Navy ship that had to, oh God, dock in D.C. Because they've had 13 suicide on board. The enemy is tormenting and troubling and causing a generation to believe a lie. Korabahashia. The suicide is the way out, that it's a way of escape. Not understanding that it's a trap unto eternal damnation. We call on your blood right now. I can't see your whole post, Sister Daniel, but we'll be praying. We call on your blood right now, Jesus. To identify, God, every breach in the military, every breach in the bloodline, every breach in the ministry, we're busy loose, loosing cars and blessings and prosperity, but we have yet to identify that until we lose life and the life-giving blood of Jesus, it will not stop somebody who is a millionaire from committing suicide and a billionaire. Success is not the antidote to suicide. Success is not the antidote to depression, for depression. Success is not the antidote, oh God. For mental torment, it is you, Lord Jesus. We pray that your blood would release life, oh God, and lose life to every mind and mindset of suicide in the name of Jesus. Where there's a chemical imbalance, we lose, oh God, balance by the blood of Jesus. Where there is mental illness, we lose healing by the blood of Jesus. Where there's a curse, oh God, of Jezebel, that, oh God, Ramahashi Kianahashi instigates and stirs up the thoughts of suicide. We lose the blood of Jesus, the blood that speaks better things than suicide, the blood that speaks he kobasata life, life, life the blood God that speaks peace and releases peace, the blood that overcomes torment I was 11 when I had my first attempt, but thank you for the blood, when my parents didn't know what to pray and how to pray what to do, I thank you God that your destined plan for me and your ordained plan for my life was not an obituary that would say I died by suicide ah, my sick or not, and that same God, that same power, that same spirit, that same blood that redeemed me from Jezebel's yoke of suicide is here, God. It's available to us. We lose it to your people. For those who are suicidal, but the word of suicide is because of trauma. Trauma, 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 repetitive trauma, sexual trauma, God, childhood trauma, mandara hasita, even church trauma, mandara hosi, maybe instead of calling it church hurt, we ought to pray about the trauma that churches have caused your people, the trauma that church has caused marriages, the trauma it's caused family, the trauma it's caused these young boys who are being, oh God, trafficked and who are being, oh God, abused by the pedophiles in the church, the trauma. 
trauma, the trauma, the trauma. These young women are being impregnated and forced to have abortions by pastors and leaders. Manda Hansi, spiritual fathers. But today, God, in the name of Jesus, we break the back of the enemy. We decoma Hansi, emasculate those demonic powers that traumatize your people, oh God. We say not on our watch. You've given us too many weapons to allow the enemy to come into the church. Satan, how dare you get thee behind the church of God. Get thee behind the people of God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. It is only by your mercy, God, that I did not end up a drug addict. So many are addicted, trying to medicate and self-medicate. Trauma. But Father, in the name of Jesus, you, you don't just medicate and mask and put a band-aid on it. You heal. You make whole. You restore the life that Jezebel has tried to rob and wants to snuff out. We pray for every parent represented here, God, who has no idea that their child is depressed and suicidal. Their grandchild is depressed and suicidal. Father, return discernment to the matriarchs. Return discernment to the patriarchs. We can discern somebody's social security number, but we can't discern the state of their mind and their soul. Help us, holy God. We prophesy your word in Psalm 118 and 17. That this generation shall not die but live. Live to declare the works of the Lord. Live to declare the goodness of God. Live to declare the salvation, healing, and deliverance of Jehovah. We prophesy even to the elderly God. To the elderly that are depressed and downtrodden and secretly suicidal. To those coming to church Sunday after Sunday and struggling with depression and suicide as I did. Hoping and praying and wishing for the the pastor to detect it and discern it and pray for them. God, we don't wait for a pastor. We call on your help of the Holy Ghost. We call on your life-giving spirit to bring light to that heart again and uproot and remove every thought and desire of death in the name of Jesus. Every projectile of suicide, every demonic and satanic projectile that Jezebel is using to bewitch God, to beguile, to deceive and seduce them to take their own lives. We stand in the gap. We make up the hedge. We call on God, even your ministering angels, to go and minister life. Flood the earth, oh God, with your angels who will minister life and salvation. We don't need to show up at a funeral for a person who's committed suicide and try to be great and eloquent. Let us be great and eloquent, God, before you in the secret place, in the place, oh God. In the place, oh God, in the place, oh God, where their soul is in peril. In the place, oh God, where they need a sobasata, someone to war for them and fight for them. Thank you for the men and women of God who will not allow a generation to be wiped out and washed out, erased, oh God. By the spirit of suicide and homicide. Mando kora baha shetera da baha. See for those that the enemy just hasn't made suicidal, but he has made homicidal. All these murder suicides, oh God, all over America. The spirit of the living God. The spirit of the living God. Ramahashi, bring life to the mind, the will, and the emotions of that man. Getting ready to take out his wife and children. Bring life. Bring the life. Snuff out. Ramanda Hasi, the disaster, the devastation, the demon, the spirit, and the will to kill Mandana Hasi and commit suicide. Ah, Matara Bahasi, locate spirit of the living God. Every spirit of murder, suicide lurking. Oh God, and roaming our neighborhoods, roaming our zip codes, roaming our schools and our jobs. Oh, Masia, Shetora Bohosia, even in the young children, all these school shootings. It's a spirit of suicide and murder. That's the root, oh God. 
But today, Father, we bring down this agenda of Jezebel in the name of Jesus. And we say they shall live. They shall not die at the hand of suicide. They shall not die at the hand of suicide. Ramanda Hashekira Bahasi in the name of Jesus. Oh Father, 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 Kana Hasia. Remove the fear. Remove the fear, oh God. Instead of fearing God, that mental illness will take them out. That this generational suicide will just receive the prayer request this week for a woman who called Mahasi. First, her father committed suicide. Then her son committed suicide. God, you know her name. You know her by name. Mando We lift up every sister like her, every mother, every daughter, God, every sister. Every daughter, every mother, every aunt, oh God, every intercessor, even the pastors who have to funeralize. These souls, after they commit suicide, we lift them up to you, God. We bind the spirit of survivor's guilt because some cannot handle hearing the news of somebody they perceive to be stronger or more spiritual committing suicide. And God, we know Jezebel also uses that as a snare to cause more suicides. But we bring every deception in operation of this diabolical spirit of death to you. And we command it in the name of Jesus to be destroyed. We cast it down from our realm, from the earth, God. From the mind, the mindset, from the region and the territory, from the bloodline. In the name of Jesus, spirits of suicide, we put you to flight. Go back to the dry place. We drive you out in the name of Jesus. You're expelled. You're cast out. You're removed. We don't fear the taunts of the spirit of death, but we decree a life that they shall not die. Not one suicide on mind. Doesn't matter if they have a gun in the house or a plan. We dismantle the plan of suicide right now in the name of Jesus. We release a safety plan instead. We release a plan. Go by her seat. We release the plan to live. We release the plan of life. The plan of life. We release the destined plan of God. We release the destined plan of God that you shall live. You shall live. Your mind shall live and be filled with peace. The shalom of God that surpasses all understanding. Your desires, your godly desires shall live. But we bind and kill every ungodly desire. Every desire to die, burn in the fire of God right now in the name of Jesus. Every desire, Mando Hoshi to kill, burn up. Ikanahashi, we call down fire from heaven to burn down and burn up, consume and render us chaff. Every desire not to live in the name of Jesus. Isha Katamanda, she did for those who have lost the will, God, the will and the willpower to live, doesn't matter what stage the cancer is, how long they have battled with illness and disease, we bind that lie that death would be better. Life, 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 life in your will, your ordained life, your destined life for them is better than any affliction, any trial or any trouble. We pray for the grace of God. Mandoro Hoshi to endure right now in the name of Jesus. Every area that the devil, that Jezebel has sent weakness to cause your people to become so weak in the faith that they lose the desire to war, to fight, and to live, to resist the devil, return it to them, God. And Father, help them not to lord the trouble not to hoard the troubles, because we know sufficient for each day is its own trouble. We don't live by trouble. We don't walk by trouble. We don't walk by trials. We don't walk by attacks. We walk by faith. We walk by faith. We live by faith. The just shall live by faith. Steer up and release an avalanche of faith we will look at the most dire circumstances. We will speak to the highest mountain. 
and command it to be brought low by faith. And God, wherever they do that, we speak by faith that the God, Ramanda Hasa, they will believe that you can heal depression. We pray by faith that they will believe, 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 believe and receive that God, you're greater than depression, generational depression. You're greater than PTSD. You're greater than addiction. And by faith, they can pray. And in the name of Jesus, you will loose it, loose them from the bondage. You will loose them from the hurt. You will loose them from the trauma. Raise up people in their circles, in the church who are not ashamed of crying aloud and testifying that they have overcome suicide and every other spirit that works with it to cause death and destruction by the blood of the Lamb. Remove the shame, oh God, even now. I pray for a healing from those who are ashamed because they have a past of suicide that they will see your light how it came through oh God and illuminated the darkness that is suicide that they will see the power of your blood that showed up for them that they will oh God glory in that testimony that you oh God overcame even the agenda God the ordinance and the decree of death against them and Father, as you gave him a new mind, a new heart, a new hope, a new will, and a new desire to live, to live. That when they pray, when they speak, oh God, when they teach, when they encourage, oh God, when they encourage, oh God, that same spirit will touch, Lord God, those in the throes of suicide. In the name of Jesus. Go back to Psalm 118 as we wrap this up. Psalm 118, 18. The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Right there, right after 117, when God has spoken that he will not allow death to win. That we cannot die, shall not die, will not die, but live. I'm paraphrasing, but it means the same thing. We cannot die because we have divine purpose. We have a kingdom destiny to declare the works of God. To make a spectacle of the devil. Because the weapons he could use to end our life by our own hands failed. Verse 18 of Psalm 118. The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Thank you, woman of God. God bless you, Sister Claudette. The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Beloved, again, we cannot hoard the troubles and hoard the trials and the tests. God himself, we've seen it in the old and the new. He disciplines those he loves. He purifies and tests us through fires and trials. Yes, he will chasten. Yes, he will prune. Yes, Korarabahasi, he will afflict. It was good for me that I know your afflictions. It was good for me that I was afflicted, that I may learn your statues, is how David put it in Psalms 91. Yet here God is saying through the pen of David that we need to be cognizant of the reality that no matter how hard it is, the trial, the tribulation, the things that makes this world, the, those of this world, those who are weak in the faith, take their lives. We have to be honest and acknowledge the truth and receive that blessing that God, no matter how bad it's God, he hasn't given us over to death. He has not given us over to death. So if God has not given us over to death, help me tonight, Holy Ghost. If God has not given us over to death, why are we allowing the enemy, Komahasi, bless you, woman of God, to use suicide as an instrument, Korabahasi, to bring death to the body? Yes, he's chastened. Yes, he's corrected. Yes, Komasi, Kiana Mahasa, he has caused some 
some of us to go through stuff we didn't think we could survive to endure stuff we thought surely oh, my tired about see it was going to take everything in us to come off of that bed of affliction to come off of that attack to come recover from that hit but what I want you to see after today and what I want you to pray after today is God on the authority of your word in Psalm 118 and 18 because you have not given me over to death I will allow no situation help me Holy Ghost I will allow no circumstance I will allow no bad report I will allow no enemy to give me over to death I will not allow my flesh suicide to give me over to death I will allow no demonic satanic Jezebelic or unclean spirit to give me over to death we return death to the sender in the name of Jesus we serve a God who is a life giver we receive life we receive life and that more abundantly he didn't say stuff more abundantly he didn't say blessings more abundantly it says life and that more abundantly you receive the life first mandahashi the works of God your life, the destiny of God for your life, then you gather the stuff, the blessings, the spoils on the way, if you miss out on the destined life, your Kobahasi will allow the enemy to cut short destiny every good thing every blessing every life you would have impacted every breakthrough Mandorohoshi, the years that the locust, the cankerum, the pamelum, the caterpillar, the God would have restored. You would have cut yourself off, not the devil, but you. Because suicide is when the enemy uses us to snuff out our own life, and that God forbid. Psalm 118 and 19 and 20, actually even 21, and I'm done. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go through them and I will praise the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous shall enter. I will praise you for you have answered me and have become my salvation. Psalm 118, 19, 20, 21. Open to me the gates of righteousness. Beloved, we can't be righteous and enter through the gates of righteousness daily and be suicidal. I've said this before, and, and, and some have written pages and pages to dispute what I've said on social. But, beloved, until you personally dealt with the spirit of suicide, you, you, your, oh, my, your clinical knowledge is just book knowledge. Live through it. Have a lived experience. And, baby, let's talk. Mashata, open to me the gates of righteousness. God has a gate. Oh, Mahasi, a portal, an interpoint, a place where suicide cannot touch you. Once once you go through that gate, uh, the spirit of death has no right to you. It has no access to you, not to your mind or your thoughts. I don't care how many years you were suicidal before this. When you enter to the gates of righteousness, which are the gates of life, the gates of life, when you go through them, when you're cognizant of that which the Lord has before you, which is life and that more abundantly, uh, which is that you will not die, you shall not die. You will have a mindset that is shifted. You will have a desire that changes from wanting to die and take your own life uh, or to harming somebody else. When it's not harming so suicidal, it's suicidal and homicidal. You will be loose and delivered from that. You will have a life of praise and I will praise the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous enter. You cannot be at the mercy of Jezebel if you are righteous. This is why it's so important to seal the entry points of Jezebel, to come against unforgiveness, unrepentance, rebellion, see pride and fear. You cannot fear what the enemy can do to you and your righteous. When you're all See in the path of Manarahasi of righteousness, when you live in the will of righteousness, when you are holy, there is a God around you. Korapahasi in depression, the thought may come, 
Kamasi, but in the name of Jesus, it cannot live in your mind. It cannot live in your heart. It cannot live in your emotions. In the name of Jesus. Why? Because you have entered through the gate of the righteous, the gate of the Lord, the gate of life. Come on, woman of God. The gate of healing, the gate of redemption, the gate of oh, restoration, the gate where you have a sound mind. You possess a sound mind. You don't have a sound mind for two seconds and you're back to suicidal. I'm not telling you something I've read or heard or had preached and prophesied to me. I've lived it. When the psychiatrists didn't know what to do. I don't think I've even ever given this testimony. When the antidepressants didn't work. When the impatient therapy and the outpatient therapy didn't work. They were talking about shocking my brain. That's how suicidal and depressed and in bondage to depression they called it MDD major depressive disorder and PTSD and all that lifetime of trauma did to me in my young 20s she and but thanks be unto God, because the Lord Jesus said in his word, none that the Father have given me have I lost. I was waiting for the church to show me the way, to teach me and to, oh my God, come on, woman of God, to teach me and to deliver me. I was waiting for the bishop. I was waiting for the intercessors, the prophets in the house. I was waiting for somebody to come to my rescue. But thanks be unto God, that Jesus had come to my rescue. And man wasn't willing and it was the Holy Ghost it was the Holy Ghost though I was weak in the faith though I was a young believer I didn't know nothing about deliverance I was born and raised Muslim I didn't know nothing about about binding and loosing and the power of the Holy Ghost I was no one bring to this thing but God not man that he should lie we don't belong to the devil we don't belong to Jezebel we belong to Jesus and if he has to show up by his spirit when no other servant or labor is available God will and I distinctly hear the Holy Spirit saying not only will you not let them shock you you're getting off all of these medications and shortly after that, they begin to start putting a warning because before there was no warning on these antidepressants and on the commercials that it can cause suicide in young adults and those under under 18 and, and for, I think it was like 18 to 25. If you're under that age, it can cause suicidal thoughts. And to this day, if you hear anti-depression commercial, it'll say that it, it can cause suicidal thoughts. So when the devil couldn't get me to kill myself by my own hand, he had me on these medications that would bring the thoughts of suicide. The enemy is wicked, yet God in his infinite power and mercy. And I was terrified. I was terrified by God. How am I going to function if I get off these medications? Never forget it. I lived on 24th and Wells in Milwaukee. And I was supposed to go down to Walgreens on 35th to refill, pick up some refills. The Holy Spirit said, no, clearly, no. You're getting off these medications and you're not going to let them shock you. And I'm so glad. I'm so, because I know people who will shock and who will never write after that. No weapon, come on, woman of God, great is his mercy, no weapon formed against us. Not one. But we have to choose, I'm not gonna lie to you, to go through the gates of righteousness. I didn't know. I kept going to church. I'm believing my answer was in church. I was a new believer. I didn't understand what the spirit of Jezebel was. I didn't understand that God will allow you to be chastened, but he will never hand you over to death. 
But thanks be unto God. The word of God says, if the gospel be hidden, it is hidden to those who are lost. We're not lost. His truth is not hidden to us, but you have to want it. You have to desire to pick up the Bible. More than you pick up the phone or Facebook now or whatever it is, you're giving more attention than God. The righteous have to choose to enter through the gates of the Lord, the gates of life, the gates of abundance, the gates of peace, everything we need is in Him. But we have to know how to access it and what we access is to remain there. God, we thank you. So for every person connected to you right now that's struggling with the thoughts of depression or just not living a full life because of depression and PTSD and trauma, Father, we thank you that you will not allow any other area of their life to die. You will not allow the enemy to snuff out the joy of living. See the joy of the Lord, which is their strength. That there's no chasing and you've allowed us to endure. That will result in death. You're not a death giver. You're a life giver. Condition Christian. Condition the parents. There's so many parents who are so bewildered by their children's actions. But I pray by the mercies of God that you condition God. Their heart and their thinking. To align with yours God. That they don't contribute to the destruction of their children, but they're able to remain at the gate of righteousness and to bring their children into it. There is nothing too hard for you. And I publicly thank you, God, that though I attempted more than once, you made sure that I myself didn't hand myself over to death. That the assignment of Jezebel, the ultimate assignment to destroy us at our own hands failed. I pray right now for every pastor, every leader, every wife, every husband, every rape survivor, every survivor of war, to pray with me, Zion. Every survivor of war, every survivor of domestic violence, every survivor of unthinkable violence. God, those who are the victims of a witchcraft in Africa, mind control, who are struggling. You see, you know, who are struggling to be free. I pray that they will open their mind, that they will, their emotions and soul to you, Lord Jesus. That they will give nothing else greater place and space than they give you. And as they do, God, as you open the gates of righteousness unto me, you open the gates of righteousness unto them. And Father, we bind right now in the name of Jesus, everything blocking them from making entry through the gates of the Lord, the gates of righteousness and life in the name of Jesus. Just bulldoze it in the spirit, bring it low so they can enter, oh God. The gate of the Lord, the gate of the Lord, the gate of the Lord, the gate of the Lord is open to the suicidal, the gate of the Lord, Psalm 18 and 20, it's open to, oh God, the homicidal, the gate of the Lord is open to the gang member, the gate of the Lord is open to the drug addict, the gate of the Lord is open to the young woman, oh God, Mandara Hasi being trafficked, the young man being trafficked, the gate of the Lord is open and Texas and over Texas, the gate of the Lord. Come on, name your state. Wisconsin, Florida, Ramahasi, Maryland, Oregon, Rebahasi, Pennsylvania. The gate of the Lord is open over every continent of the world. It's open over Ukraine. It's open over Europe. It's open over Israel. It's open over Africa. Africa, the gate of the Lord. 
Yet Tomasi is open to our bloodline. It's open to our bloodline. The gate of the Lord is open to our bloodline. The gate of the Lord is open to Georgia. The gate of the Lord is open. Oh God, UK, the gate of the Lord is open. It's open to Moldova, the gate of the Lord. Mashikia Namahasi is open to Jamaica, the Caribbean, the gate of the Lord. is open to my husband's nation, the Bahamas, the gate of the Lord. The gate of the Lord is open to every race, every creed. Every color, every nation, every tribe, and every tongue. And God the righteous shall enter. And what do we do after we enter? Psalm 18 and 21. I will praise you for you have answered me and have become my salvation. Salvation in this context is synonymous with deliverance. Yes, we are saved and redeemed from eternal damnation. But we are saved also and redeemed from every other attack between now. An eternal life. I will praise you for you have answered me and have become my salvation. I will praise you. Praise has to be a weapon. Praise has to be an instrument. Praise has to be a condition. And praise has to be a mindset. Praise has to be a desire. Before I sit here and complain, and woe is me, and how bad my life is, and how much I went through. Just today, I didn't share with anybody what I was going to teach. But just today, somebody asked me who was dealing with an issue and they asked me how Marie how is it that you're so tolerant of people who have wronged you and I smiled and I said well God is tolerant of us isn't he because God and not people has got to become the answer your deliverer your deliverance and your salvation and once you understand that there's nothing people can do to destroy you there's nothing people can do to hand you over to death because God won't allow it. You are conditioned to praise him. I know why the caged birds sing. Because the uh, even a bird with a bird brain is not uh, understands that being imprisoned is a personal choice. You can put me in the prison of your judgment and opinions, but I am not caught up obligated to stay there you and your thoughts can put me there but physically spiritually mentally you will never why because I live on the other side of the gate of the Lord ah Jesus I have entered through the gate of the Lord to the place where the righteous dwell to the place to the place to the place where holiness is to the place where joy is like a river what is an abundance of goodness, of God's goodness. Oh, taste and see. I told you all about the salam. Here it goes again. Oh, taste and see. My Lord. belong. That is the place that the righteous belong. That is the place that the righteous belong. The righteous will dwell. See in the presence of the Lord. There is the fullness of joy. Depression can dwell there. The suicidal thoughts can dwell there. It's amazing. How downtrodden and depressed I used to be and how 
how much it's like a, a double that enjoy now complete polar opposite I doubt some of my doctors would even recognize me if they met me now that is the power of our God when you enter the gate of the Lord everything you need is everything that pertains to life and godliness is at the gate of the Lord everything that pertains to life and godliness is at the place gate of the Lord come on the place the place is the promised place the real Canaan the spiritual Canaan the place of blessings the place where we can move breathe and have our being in him not in self not in a gift, not in anointing, but in him. Father, we thank you. And I come against even rejection. I'm looking down at the scripture in 118, Psalm 118 and 22, and it's talking about the stone that the builders rejected and every spirit of suicide with it in rejection. We command you in the name of Jesus to break your holds on the lives, the minds, the wills, the desires, and the emotions of the people of God. Rejection, the Lord rebuke you. Get thee behind the people of God. Father, you have a promise for every one of us that's been rejected by people, by family, by churches. Some have been rejected by their own parents, their own children. But well, Father, we thank you that you have a purpose that will, Korarabahasia, make rejection appear of no effect. And we thank you for what you do for those who live at the gate of the Lord, for those who don't cross over the threshold of the gate of the Lord, those who have entered through the gate of the Lord and choose to dwell there, to live there. We say this is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. We might as well finish the Psalm 118. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Do that daily. Save now, I pray, Lord. Oh, Lord, I pray, send now prosperity. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Save now, save now, save now. Suicidal souls, save now, save now. To the uttermost, every suicidal soul, every depressed soul, save now. We pray, oh Lord Jesus, save as you saved me. Save as you saved countless others. Save, save, save. Save the young and the old, God. Ramahasi, do not let the death certificate say suicide. Do not let them be found with the gunshot wound. Oh God, do not let them be found hanging, oh God. Do not let them be found after the overdose, but intercept right now in the name of Jesus. Save, 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 deliver, deliver, become their salvation, become their salvation. Save, oh God. And after you say, God, we pray. The psalm is prayer in 118, Psalm 118 and 25. That you will send prosperity. You will send the abundance of peace. The abundance of hope and joy. Hope deferred still makes the heart sick. An abundance, oh God, of faith that they will believe that no matter the situation, you will never hand them over to death. But that you have an expected, expected, expected end, a glorious end, a marvelous end, a successful end. That they will be able to stand on top of that mountain of suicide and look at it from the vantage point. See that it is under them, that it is trampled upon. Thank you that suicide is not the destiny of the righteous. Homicide either. We seal this phrase with the blood of Jesus. We seal every suicidal and homicidal mind with the blood of Jesus to permanently overcome it. And Father, we seal our homes, every place that we step foot, let your blood be present to annihilate and diffuse every projectile of suicide or homicide. 
We thank you for the revelation, the knowledge, and the insight to keep us at the threshold of your gate of God, your gate of life, life, and that more abundantly. We thank you. Any prayer request, we thank you. Shikatamandorohosi, Spirit of the Living God. We thank you. Shikora Bahandarahasi. We thank you. Where there are suicide packs, oh God. Where there are suicide packs, oh God. Especially among the youth. In the name of Jesus. Expose it. And destroy it. Detonate it, God. Oh, Masi, undam, undam, undam. Ramanda has the blockage. Oh, God. That the enemy has placed in the minds of the youth. That is snuffing out the will to live. Father, we thank you that it is already done in the name of Jesus. That the shame of suicide will not touch. I see a prayer request from the God. Will not touch any soul connected. Us, any soul in covenant with us, any soul we pray for in the name of Jesus. I lift up the suicidal pastors. If someone will ask for prayer, who are pastors and leaders who are suicidal, she called Tarabahasi. Do not only remember them, but permanently return them to the gate of life and righteousness. We thank you right now for the woman of God's prayer request. Oh, Basha to Komanda, Rike Basi Kiandara Bahasi. Father, we will be in good health even mentally. Our mother will prosper and be in good health. Masho Kotara Bahasi. It's right there in the Psalm 18. That you will send prosperity. Send prosperity to her mental health. That she will be in good health mentally. Heal mind, a mind freed from the bondage, the attacks and the snares. And harassment of the enemy. Father, the root and the cause. Komanda Hasi, we put your blood to, to overcome it. Come on, somebody write that down. We will prosper and be in good health, even mentally. For the Lord is sending prosperity, even in our mental health. We are whole mentally. We are made whole mentally. Every door, every gate, every entry point to our mental health, to our generational mental health, to the mental health of our bloodline that is under attack or accessible. To the kingdom of darkness. It is shut now. It is closed now. The blood of Jesus. He has restored health to our mental being. God, we thank you for wholeness. We thank you. For healing. We thank you for deliverance at the Level of our soul. Mandara hasi our being, our being, our being is whole and made whole. And Father, there's nothing the enemy can do to trespass. Because you do a whole work. 24 years later, there's no relapse in you. There's no relapse in you. There are no triggers. There are no flashbacks. Because you are God who makes whole. You bless us even greater. Oh, the abundance of peace is even greater than before the attack on our mental health. For that we're grateful. For that we're thankful. For that we reverence you. For that we glorify you. Grace and peace be multiplied to us all. Mind, body, 
soul, and spirit until the day of our Lord's return. It is so, and so it is. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Go in peace. Yes, God. Yes, God.